Where's the fine line on needy versus clarity and clarifying expectations? Yeah, it's a great question. I think the answer for me is that uh, questions, comments, concerns, um, I'll say lack of knowledge because you're just there, right, that uh, are directed at the business or the business needs or the ability to contribute to the business are all fair game. So in other words, um, you know, look, it's stereotypical, unfortunately, that it starts with a lot of people in the interview process. I need you to understand. Uh, I need you to tell me what my career path is. I need you to tell me how long I'll be in this job before I'll be in a different job. That's a very different set of um, engagement type of, uh, of conversation than um, tell me about how I can contribute to this team or tell me a little bit more about the business or, you know, b before coming here or in coming here, I've, I've, I've got some observations. I'm just kind of curious about, you know, if you could enlighten me a little bit about um, what are, what, are, what, what, when you go to bed at night and when you wake up in the morning, what's still on your mind? Um, those are business related needs. Um, but as a hiring manager or as a supervisor, I'm now looking back at somebody and saying, this person has the potential to contribute to our business, to contribute to our culture, because of the way they're approaching it from day one. So the way you said it, and I really hope all of our listeners are, are getting that distinction, because the way you're proposing is it's really about gathering information, whether that's needs or just important other key metrics, versus um, transitioning ownership. 